So separation individuation process. So the separation individuation process was described by Margaret Maller. And she observed that this occurs between the primary caregiver and the child, and that there's six stages of separation and individuation. The testable point here is that you should know that Margaret Maller describes separation and individuation process. That's the first thing. If you know the name of the person or theorist, and you can connect them with whatever theory they came up with, so in this case, Margaret Maller's separation individuation process, you're going to score points right off the bat with that alone. Next, you want to know what are the six stages, and you also want to know the time frame with which those six stages are occurring. The first stage is called normal autism. In normal autism, it goes from birth to approximately two months, and this is where sleep periods predominate. There's not a, the, the infant's not awake very much, and, or at least not awake or aroused for very long periods of time. And this stage actually kind of resembles fetal or intrauterine life for the infant. And that, again, goes from birth to two months. Symbiosis from two to five months, the mother and infant are perceived as a single fused entity. Devel the infant does develop some perceptual abilities and gradually enable, which gradually enables that infant to distinguish the inner from the outer world. But at this point, again, the most important things about st stage two, symbiosis, two to five months, you should know it's two to five months, and you should know the mother infant is perceived as a single fused entity. The third stage is differentiation, and that goes from five to ten months. Distinctness from the mother at this point is appreciated. There's progressive neurological development, there's increased alertness, and that all draws the infant's attention away from the self and into the outer world or onto the outer world. In the fourth stage, practicing from 10 to 18 months of age, the ability to move autonomously increases. So children tend to take their first steps at about a year or 12 months, and you know they can walk fairly well after that. And so somewhere in this process, the child's now becoming more autonomous. They're increasing their exploration of the outer world. And essentially, again, practicing moving away from or separating from the mother or primary caregiver. In the fifth stage, reproachment, 18 to 24 months, children move away from their mothers and come back for reassurance. So that's the idea of reproachment. The idea of reproachment is the child moves away, it, it goes out, the child will go out, do their own thing, play a little bit, and then come back for reassurance that you know the mother is still there. As they basically they are still dependent at this point, but they're realizing that they can have more independence. And again, reproachment, 18 to 24 months. The last one is object consistency, and in object consistencies reached by the age of two to five years, children at this point can comprehend that they are reassured by the permanence of the mother and other important people in their lives. They know that their mother and say father are not going to go away. And even when they're not in their presence, they still have that sense that, yes, mom will be there when I come back, or dad will be there when I come back. And that's called object consistency, occurs at about two to five years of age.